What's going on, guys? My name's Zach, the Austere Wizard, and if you follow the show Breaking Bad, you know that it starts in two days as of recording this and hopefully uploading it, uh, August 9th. The final season, season 6 or 5B, however you want to refer to it as, begins August 11th on AMC, and it's going to be amazing. There's eight episodes left of the show. Now, it's not just the season finale, it is the series finale that will be happening in eight weeks' time. Now, if you've been around my channel for a while, you'll know that last fall, pretty much every Monday, um, the day after Breaking Bad aired, I would kind of do a recap. So I'm going to kind of and try to rekindle that. Um, if you guys want to, tell me in the comments below if you'd like me to talk about uh, the previous episode every Monday. It's maybe I can get like a guest on or something. And uh, we can try and do something like that. Maybe do a dual com every now and then, talking about the final eight. But I know I definitely will cover the the series finale. I'm a huge fan of the uh, the show. I've got like a couple Breaking Bad shirts. I have a hoodie that says Better Call Saul on it. Um, but before I go any further, I want to uh, put this disclaimer out there that um, talking about some conspiracies, there w it, I will spoil things. Um, if you have not seen the first five seasons, if you haven't watched all current episodes um, prior to the final eight, then do not watch the rest of this video. Why don't you favorite it or add it to your watch later playlist? Come back after you've binge watched the uh, the previous episodes on Netflix. All episodes are on Netflix as of now, um, all the way up to the final season. Everything's on Netflix. So if you have a Netflix account. Just go on, log on, and then uh, search for Breaking Bad if it's not one of like the most popular shows on Netflix. Um, but let's get right into it. So, spoiler alert, things are going to come at you. Um, click away if you don't want the show to be spoiled. So, we ended, or let's, let's just go, let's just focus on, um, let's just focus on Season 5A, or 5, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we'll kind of branch off of that. So, starting with... Starting with episode one of season five, um, it, it opens in Denny's, right? And Walt comes out, he's in a nice big mane, um, there's a nice beard going, so he's clearly not the Heisenberg that we've been used to. Um, so, previously, Walt, and even currently, Walt has gone with the shaved head and then the goatee look. Um, but in this, he's kind of dressed down, he's kind of in some raggedy clothes, right? Um, and he's in Denny's, and it's his birthday. Now, we know that for two reasons. One, he, when he orders his food, he, um, he takes this bacon and puts it in a 52. Now, if you recall, all the way back to season one, that is what the White family does um, when it is someone's birthday. It was Walt's 51st birthday in season one and Walt Jr. made Skyler put the bacon in the fit in the shape of the numbers 5-1 for 51 um, and now it appears we are a year later at the start of season five but this this the opening clip remember it's just the it's just kind of like a, uh, a foreshadowing moment so I'm hoping we pick up from there somewhere along these final eight episodes and we continue that or maybe the opening clip for the final eight will be um, in the follow-up from what happened. So, Walt's and Denny's right, and um, he's 50, so it's been a full year up to that point. So, um, remember this, and then also, I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place here, but um, still talking about Walt's birthday, because that's kind of important. Um, in episode three, in episode three of season five, um, Marie tries talking to Skylar about Walt's birthday, and that's when um, Skylar went on that shut up rant, which was hysterical. Um, I still think it's pretty funny. Uh, I watched it again uh, last night. I was, I'm trying to catch up, I'm trying to get my mom to catch up, so because um, she's a big fan of the show, but she's not all caught up yet. So don't want to spoil anything for that. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> um, so it's it's coming. Walt's birthday is coming up, and Marie mentioned that. Um, it's, he got the cancer announcement right around his birthday, so that was like really season one, episode one, I think, and maybe in the very first episode. So it's we're coming up on a full year, um, and so Walt and Denny's. We're going back to Denny's again. So Walt and Denny's, he's dressed totally different than we're used to. He's got a full beard going. 
Um, and the woman says, the waitress, I believe her name's like Lucy or something. Um, or, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Lucy. She says, um, oh, you get a free breakfast if it's your birthday. So he's like, fine. So he gives her his ID, and it's his birthday, um, right, just to make sure. Um, but his name isn't Walter White on the ID. I'm blanking on the name right now. Um, I know, ah, geez. So I want to say it's something with an H, Harper maybe, um, but it's something with an H, and it says he's from New Hampshire. Now, the show is set in Albuquerque, which is across the country from New Hampshire. New Hampshire's in the Northeast, if you're um, geographically illiterate. Um, but it, what do you think that means, that, he, that his idea is from New Hampshire? Now, what I'm thinking is, A, um, he could just have a fake ID, right, that he's been using, um, or that he uses just around, right? Because with Saul, he probably has given him probably has multiple fake IDs, right? Or, I think this is the more um, Breaking Bad type of answer. Um, if you remember all the way back, I think it was still in Season 1, um, or whenever he starts working with Saul, the lawyer, um, Saul tells him that if they ever need to get out of the business, you can call, he has him like some business card, he says, call this number, and he'll erase everything. Like, new identity, you're just completely different. You'll basically be dead to everyone you know. Um, and you'll start a whole new life totally away from everyone. So that would make sense. He has a different name, he looks totally different, and he's from New Hampshire, across the country. Now, maybe he actually moved to New Hampshire. Maybe that was part of the deal. Um, because the waitress asked him, what are you doing out here? Are you going to California? He's like, no, I'm staying here. It's for business. It's to finish some, or uh, really to finish some business, right? Um, what business is he finishing? It, it started off with it started off with a foreshadowing cliffhanger of sorts. Yeah, oh, I, I know. I can't believe I'm still on episode one right now, or the first like five minutes of it. But we'll just focus on this for now. So, basing off this, I think that Walt went with the Saul method and um, kind of erased everything because there's no white family around. Um, you'd think he'd be with Walt Jr. or Skyler or someone. Look at that nice two-piece right there. Bing, bada, boom. Um, but what do you think will happen based off of that initial sequence? Where do you think that will go in the final eight episodes? That is my question to you guys. Um, if you are caught up, if you are following through this video. Um, and another thing I want to bring up quickly is, what happens to Walt Jr.? He is still, throughout all of season five... He remains um, so innocent and clueless. Yeah, he's a little slow to begin with, um, but how can he be so clueless? Even R.J. Might, um, or Mitty, or however you say his last name, R.J. Might, let's call him that. Um, even he said that... Um, he even said that he, if he was actually Walt Jr., if that was a real-life situation, he was telling him, he would notice something's off. I mean, Walt Jr. has remained so clueless throughout all of this. Um, and so I'm wondering, and I'm asking you as well, what happens to Walt Jr.? Does he eventually figure out what's going on? Does he get killed off? Does Skyler get killed off? Does Walt kill his family? And what about the new baby, Holly? What happens with her? Maybe she goes to stay with um, Hank and Marie. But remember, that would be terrible because Hank now knows Walt is Heisenberg. He found the note in the bathroom in the book, and what is Hank going to do? Remember, in the uh, in one of the multiple teasers that AMC released for Breaking Bad, um, it's just like 10 seconds of just Hank furiously driving down a highway, I presume, or somewhere. He's driving, and he's just furious. So maybe that's what we'll pick up um, at the beginning of the final season. Um, that'd be a really interesting way to start, because now we know Hank knows. Um, I don't... Walt doesn't know that Hank knows... Hank's the only one besides Skyler and Saul and um, Jesse that know. What? Oh, jeez, I, I, I don't know. What, what do you think Hank will do? Here's another question. What do you think Hank will do? Will Hank address Walt? Will Walt come inside and they'll have a confrontation? Will Hank just pretend like it's all normal? Will Hank just go back outside? Or will Hank just get in his car and just drive? Drive to the police? I don't know where he would drive. Or drive to the police station. Because um, we know Mike's dead. So there's no need to, um, oh, they, I don't think the police know Mike's dead yet. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that, I'm not sure. But 
I think Jesse also just going down the list of characters right now. What will happen to Jesse? I say Jesse will die. I say Walt will kill Jesse. Um, Todd will try to kill Jesse. I think. I think that would be an interesting plot twist. Todd, because Todd's ruthless. We know because he just killed that kid um, in the last couple episodes there. But I think J Todd will try to kill Jesse. Um, but then Walt will step in and kill both of them. Woo! What do you think about that plot twist? Walt will kill Jesse and Todd, and that will just leave himself. That will be crazy interesting. Um, I, I don't know. It's just so much. Tell me what you think, just anything that will happen um, with all these crazy plot twists and conspiracies that will happen and follow in the final eight hours. That's eight weeks worth of Breaking Bad. Um, every Sunday, I believe it's on at 9 Eastern on AMC. Answer all those questions I asked you in the comments below. And until next time, when you're out.